What do you think of when you hear the word king? Important, powerful, fancy crowns, a special throne to sit on, a palace? Today I want to talk to you about the king. He is like any other king. This is the reason why we celebrate Christmas. His name is Jesus. In the town of Nazareth, there was a young woman named Mary. She was engaged to a man named Joseph. One day, an angel named Gabriel appeared before Mary, proclaiming that she would conceive a child by the Holy Spirit, and this child would be called the Son of God. Imagine the weight of such news. She responded with faith, saying, I am the Lord's servant, and I'm willing to do whatever he wants. May everything you say come true. Then there was Joseph. When he found out Mary was pregnant, he considered ending their whole engagement. But an angel appeared to him in his dreams, reassuring him that Mary's child was conceived by the Holy Spirit. And this child will save the whole world from sin. Mary was almost ready to have her baby when an order was given by Caesar Augustus. The order said that they must list their names in a register, and everyone went to their own towns to be registered. So Mary and Joseph left Nazareth and went to Bethlehem. Luke 2, 6 and 7 says, And while they were there, the time came for their baby to be born. She gave birth to her firstborn son, wrapped him snugly in strips of cloth, and laid him in a manger because there was no lodging available for them. Is that what you thought of when I said the word king? A baby, the king, was born outside in the stable, a dirty place filled with animals. His crib was a manger, but this baby was the king who would one day save the whole world from their sins. That king, King Jesus, the one who sits on the throne with God in heaven, knows your name. He invites you, yes you, to be a part of his forever family.